Number 8 from the 2014 advanced higher, second order differential equation, equal to zero, just the homogeneous part of it. And there are some values, initial values, to enable you to work out the two constants that should result from a second derivative being taken back. Well, first of all, form the auxiliary equation, which is 4 m squared minus 4m plus 1 equals 0, or whatever letter you care to use. Now, that's a perfect square. That just goes straight into 2m minus 1 squared equals 0. So there's only the one solution, which is m equal a half. So that the solution for that, for the complementary function, although in this case that's just the solution, so I'll just put it down, would just be y equals e to the half x, but you require two solutions. So a e to the half x plus b x e to the half x form a pair of solutions to that. So that's the first part. Now using the fact when x is 0, y is 4. Well that means 4 is equal to a times e, and that'll just be to the 0 plus b times 0, I don't need to write any more really, do I? e to the 0, so straight away a is 4. So I can put that in straight away. So now I know that y is 4e to the half x plus bxe to the half x. Now I'll use the second fact, that if you differentiate it, the result at 0 should be 3. Well, differentiating that would be 2e to the half x, plus, and now I've got a product, I'll just keep the b out of that then, so if we differentiate the first will just be 1 times, so that's just e to the half x, plus x times e to the half x, but it'll be times a half. And then using the fact that the derivative evaluated at 0 should come to 3, I've got 3 equal to 2e to the 0, plus b times e to the 0, plus, and then that's just going to be 0, because there's a 0 multiplying, which says 3 equals 2 plus b, so that means that b equals the 2 way 1. I should have emphasised those two parts. No, I've not left myself enough room, but I'll just write it over here. So the final answer, I know it's not very satisfactory, is y equals... 4e to the half x plus just one lot of x e to the half x. Of course, if you get time at the end, you can always check that by differentiating it back up. 4 of the second derivative minus 4 of the first derivative plus that itself should add up to 0. It'll only take a couple of minutes to do at the end. But anyway, there's question 8.